channel cake. I'm your hostess Suzanne. Today we're going to be making this super spooky poisoned apple cake. If you'd like to know how I made it and how you can make it too, just keep watching. Okay you guys, I recorded making this and I don't know if it came out so I apologize. I started off by putting my candy melts in a squeeze bottle and that worked really well for the details to carve out the eyes and the nose. And I'm just going to apply the rest of the candy melts using this small spatula. Okay, let's just go ahead and apply some of this candy melt on this apple. I just want to get the most of the top and the sides covered up like that. And we want some of it to do the drippy drippies. So I'm just covering the top here first just to get the coverage. And then we'll go back and add some details. He looks pretty creepy and I like it. <laughs> we'll go ahead and set that to the side and let it get all firmed up before we put it on the cake. While we are waiting for the apple to get nice and firm, let's go ahead and give our cake a border. I have a three layer, eight inch chocolate cake here, and I have filled, crumb coated, and final coated it with American buttercream. And as you can see, it's black. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and give it a border. I have filled my Wilton's decorators bag with some black American buttercream. And I have a 2A tip, which just is a large round. And I'm just gonna do a little simple bead border. Probably one of my favorites, because it's simple. <laughs> Ball, release and pull away. Go back a little bit closer to the end. Squeeze, release and pull away. Okay, I think it is time to assemble our poisoned apple cake. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this poisoned apple right in the middle. Next step is for the chocolate drip. I have dyed it black and I put it in a squeeze bottle as you can see here. And I just want to create the fact that this apple is poisoning the whole cake. So the drips are going to start here and then go down the sides of the cake, but I'm going to start by making the drips around the edge, just because I want those to look kind of cool. So we're just going to do that first. Halloween is almost here. I'm a little bit sad. I love making Halloween cakes. <laughs> oh, well, we'll move on to Thanksgiving and Christmas. I love Christmas probably the most, but there's something about making gory cakes that's fun to me. I made a few cakes that I did not take, you guys, and I can't wait to make them next year. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna fill in the top of the cake. I'm gonna use a little small offset spatula that has a pointed edge to get some of this under there. And spread it around a little bit. I don't wanna mess up my drips, so I'm carefully getting next to it. Now that I have it all covered with the black chocolate ganache, I'm going to add some black sprinkles on top just to make it a little shimmery. <laughs> I think it'll look so cute. I think our poison apple cake turned out pretty cool. I like this kind of creepy and I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. It really does mean the world to me. 
If you're a subscriber coming back to watch another one of my videos, thank you so very, very, very much. If you're new to my channel and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. It's quick and it's easy, but most importantly, it's totally free. If you like this poison apple cake, please give me a big old thumbs up. I'm having an amazing day. I hope you are as well. Until next time, make it a great day. Okay, you guys. I melted my candy melts in the microwave, poured it into the bottle, and now I'm just making the eyes. I'm just kind of making them a little bit of an oval shape. As you can see here, there's no perfect shape for eyes, just whatever you envision. And now it's time for the mouth, and I am just going to make an upside down heart. Roughly an upside down heart, you guys. You guys know how much I love my candy melts. This was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. I was afraid the candy melts would not stick onto the apple, but it worked out just perfect. I love me some candy melts. Now I'm just filling in the rest of the apple, at least most of it, by squirting it on, and then I will be pushing the candy melts around with the tip of the bottle here in a second. And that's about it, you guys. Pretty easy.